soothe your mind. Soothe your mind. Let the light throw some shade along the way. Oh, please behave. Some might say, Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. It's time to turn on your radio. Rounds will flow. Just so you know. Just so you know. You're kicking in, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Oh, oh. Hey, y'all. Y'all know my new intro is fly. I love it. <laughs> okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you again for tuning in to Kicking It With K Marie um, podcast. Again, you know, I say this all the time, and I say it because I really mean it. I really thank everyone who tuned in, who listens, who shares, who likes, who subscribes to the podcast. You know, it just lets me know that you know, what I'm doing is, is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I love what I'm doing. I love to bring you all this information, especially when it deals with our community. And that's what this podcast is about. And I'm a believer in um, a conversation. Um, just one conversation can spark and get the ball rolling for change. So that's why I named it, you know, kicking it with K Marie, because you know, when, when we kick it, we talk about things. That's when change can happen, you know? So thank you again for um, tuning in because I know there are tons of podcasts out here and good ones. You know, I've, it's, it's several that I listen to myself. And, um, you know, you have a lot of choices. And thank you for um, listening to me. I really appreciate it. And you know that we do um, series every month. So November uh, we're going to have the um, the safety series. We're going to talk about safety in um, different aspects of our life. And today we're going to talk about um, safety for around the holiday season because we know that, you know, it's November and Black Friday is coming up and that starts out the holiday um, season for Christmas and all of that for those who partake. And um, we're going to be talking about how to stay safe during these times, especially women, especially us, you know. So without further ado, um, I have on the show, again, he is no stranger to the podcast. As a matter of fact, he was on the podcast as one of my uh, panel guest panels from last week's episode, and a lot of people loved that. They loved all of our energy, um, the panel that I had, and it was a really, really good um, show. So welcome back to the show, um, Taquan Parks. He is the CEO of Parks Defensive Strategies. And um, hey, Quan. Good evening, everyone. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's safe. This pre-holiday season where they already playing Christmas music on the radio. Yay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I, I can... I can do Christmas. Now, as long as little baby don't drop a Christmas song, Ooh. I'm good. <laughs> right. little, little baby, the baby, auntie's baby, long none of them don't drop right. a Christmas Right, so many babies out here. Yeah, yeah. I personally, I love the Christmas season, and I start, I like to start after Halloween. If I could start Absolutely. earlier, I would. Like, I will be, ha I'll be putting up my Christmas tree this weekend. That's how much i love this season and i can listen to christmas music even in the summertime so well no i'm i'm, 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 I'm at least i'm at least let veterans day get here before i even think about it but no christmas christmas it um you know growing up an african-american community and it, maybe it's just me and some other people can relate but mm -hmm. there are certain things that correlate with your childhood with the holidays now for me I know some of y'all don't like it, but it's just how Pam raised me. And I remember Christmas or Thanksgiving, the windows all foggy and steamed up from her mm -hmm. cooking. And it was them chitlins in there cooking. And it mm -hmm. was some sweet potato pies. So mm -hmm. that along with the Temptations of Luther. Yes. That's what, I, that's what I do. That's what I, that, that brings me back to my childhood. Yes. Now, come on. Everybody know that that Temptation Christmas um, uh, um, CD album, whatever, that is classic, and I yeah. have that on my MP3. Yeah, absolutely. You can't go wrong with that one, boy. You can't go wrong. But Silent Night, mm -hmm. come on. Oh, yeah. In my mind. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
yeah, man. That's a classic. That's a yeah, classic. That's classic. So with Christmas being around the corner, you know, next next month in the best month of the year, of course, uh, December. Hey. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> um, we know that um, the official um, shopping um, season starts Black Friday. So I wanted to come and bring you on, you know, a few weeks before so we can be safe in these streets. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and, and I think we were talking about it before. Um, this time last year, you had a lot of funding flowing throughout the, the, the communities. Uh, funding has dried up, and but the desire for the goods is still there. Mm. Um, so also with me working at another high-end uh, retailer part-time doing security, loss prevention, um, it, there are some things that I see often that people can take heed to, especially women, when it comes to when you're out and about. Uh, shopping. So um, just touch on a few. Um, I always recommend, and I mean, we've known this since kids, when you go shopping, you don't take your packages back to the car and leave because they have mm-hmm. people, spotters in the parking lot watching. Um, mm-hmm. I recommend personally, if you can shop online, shop online. A lot of us are, or a lot of people rather are working from home. Have them delivered to your home. Even with Amazon, you can put a notation on your account to hand the package directly to you and not leave it on the porch. And with Amazon, too, I'm, I'm a avid. Me, too. Me Amazon. Too. And I know, and I'm blessed enough to live in an area where I don't have to worry about um, what they call porch pirates. Right. Um, but if, you know, some people are uh, concerned about leaving their packages but Amazon do offer you, they can drop it off like at one of their lockers that I just discovered. I had to do a return about a month ago. This is seven 11 near me. And they were like, drop it off at the locker for free. I'm like, but I don't have a code or a key. And they're like, no, we're sending you one. And I put it right in there and it was good to go. Um, mm-hmm. But I want to touch on something you just said. Cause let me tell you around the holiday time, mm-hmm. the wolves go where the meat is. <laughs> yeah. So if you live in a nice neighborhood, We've had them, um, with me working for DPD, we've seen crews follow the Amazon and UPS trucks. What? They doing that now? Absolutely. And they're not doing it in the inner city. They're going to the suburbs because they they believe or they think there's more high-end deliveries going out there. But it doesn't matter where you're at. Mm -hmm. If you're working in a brick and mortar away from home, have your packages delivered to your job. Do okay. not have them just, I mean, have them somewhere, whether you leave them at the reception desk or shipping and receiving or or directly. So you come down and they have to hand it to you. Um, but do not have these packages on your porch because they are still stealing packages. Mm, so I have to be, like I said, I, I've been here. I've been in my, my um, place for like 13 years and never had an issue in. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too lax in it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here, here's another thing. If you aren't going to be home and you're, I know during COVID, uh, DPD stopped allowing packages to be delivered for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. If you've got a neighbor that you're comfortable with, you can you can have it shipped to you and put in the notes, leave with, leave at such and such house. And then that, that way they have the okay from you to leave it with your neighbor. Um mm-hmm. If you're going in a brick and mortar store, ladies, do not carry a big purse. Do not. All you need is your ID, whatever cards you're about to use. That's all you need. Like a nice small crossbody or something like that. And, uh, yeah, that's what you, ab- absolutely. A nice small crossbody. Now, for those of the women that are carrying, you shouldn't say, well, hey, what about my gun? Your firearm should never be on you. I mean, in your purse. It should always be on you. If if you have a firearm and you don't want to carry a big purse, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get what's called a belly band waist holster. Amazon, you can get this one for 20 bucks. Firearm goes here. Extra mag goes here. 
but you should not have that firearm in your purse because if I'm Pookie or Ray Ray, the first thing I'm snatching is a woman's purse. Mm. You mm. can't call time out and say, hey, look, can I have my gun out and before you run off? <laughs> right. No, that's not how that works. And for women that do carry purses, um, because I've heard different um things about this. Like, should they carry it on their shoulder or again, like across their body? If they have to absolutely carry, carry it across your body mm -hmm. because that's that's more resistance if someone attempts to come and snatch uh that purse. Also, mm -hmm. I hate I, I don't carry one, so I don't know, but if you're gonna carry one, spend a few dollars on it so that it's not a flimsy purse that gives away at those little metal clasps that connect the purse to the strap have a thick strap on there mm -hmm. um and also if you here's the thing if you're carrying a crossbody as we see now the weather's changing have yeah. your crossbody under your coat with your coat zipped up i had a lady probably about uh, i would say about a month ago she was strolling through where i work and i'm just standing there and she leaning over I'm literally looking. I'm about five to seven feet away. I'm mm -hmm. looking in her purse. Her wallet is open. Her gun, she had a revolver, is in her purse. And she's leaning over at, in the showcase looking at some jewelry. Mm -hmm. And I went up to her. I said, ma'am, do you realize right now I could have reached in your purse, grabbed those two $100 bills that's in the middle of your wallet, and grabbed your gun? And she stepped back. And then I told her who I was and what I did there. Mm -hmm. And then I also told her what I do. She said, thank you so much. She said, I, I just, I'm just used to just coming out like that. Yeah. But you cannot get comfortable. That's true. So you said we should always, I mean, we should be on the lookout period, but a even, absolutely. even more so like during this time. So what are some things that people are doing wrong that makes them a victim? So rule number one. Whenever I get ready, what did I, I stopped on the way home today to uh, grab some jogging pants from the store. I had a, a wool overcoat on. So my firearm would have been under my shirt inside of my wool overcoat. This firearm came out, was in the pocket of my wool overcoat in my left pocket because I'm left handed. Now, when you get out, your cell phone should be in your pocket. You want both hands free. Once you hit the lock button on that vehicle, keys go in your pocket, scanning left to right. Number two, pulling into a parking lot, don't pull between two big SUVs. You got a small car because if someone is up in there, you, what you going to do? They, no one can see you to assist you. Mm -hmm. Here's another thing these clowns have started doing again. You come out. There's a little bitty car paper on your windshield, okay? You go to touch that card or that paper, that card or that paper has fentanyl on it. What? You passed out before you even get back to your car door. So, like, what type of paper is it? So, you know how oftentimes if you go to a cabaret or something, you come out mm -hmm. and there's a flyer? Yeah. Don't touch that flyer. Okay don't touch that flyer i don't care if it's a if you see it just a generic piece of paper don't touch that flyer and people can research they can google this um hit your windshield wiper keep hitting it hit you uh the windshield wiper fluid and let it blow off as you're driving mm. but do not touch that park in a well-lit area once mm -hmm. you get out that vehicle in the well-lit area even if you have to park down far away that's fine pull over that yellow line a little bit so nobody else can box you in okay. but when you coming and going make sure your head is on the swivel that phone is in your pocket put your gun in your pocket hmm. because if need be you don't want to have to unzip or unbutton the coat move a shirt or a blouse or a sweatshirt to access your firearm right you're like hold up wait a minute <laughs> absolutely and here's yeah. the thing for women who don't have a firearm, go on Amazon, order you a can of mace. It's called OC spray. O is an Oscar, C is in Charles. Order you some OC spray. Don't keep it on your keys. 
because mm. you want your keys to go between your fingers when the other hand has that that oc spray so you can jab with the keys and spray with the free hand so okay so when you're coming out your car or even when you're coming out the mall wherever you're shopping at you should at that point have out the mace you should have it so so you got a coat off because mm -hmm. it's, it's fall winter fall heading in the winter your hands is in your pocket your finger is on that activation button of that mace someone runs up you want to just make sure you push your hand out to give yourself enough space and you spray cross your other hand okay if you if you're at the mall or anywhere and you feel uncomfortable even the grocery store a lot of grocery stores have security tell someone inside or if they don't have security tell one of the baggers can you walk me to my vehicle if you're oh, at a mall, mall people people getting robbed at in the grocery store parking lot what well, absolutely absolutely oh. you have what's called uh, you so you got the actual individual who's spotting people and then you got well, so what they'll do is they'll spot they'll see you get in the vehicle by yourself another vehicle as you're pulling off will bump your car in the parking lot you'll get out to inspect the damage now they rob you mm. That's the, one of the oldest tricks in the books. So if you walk, if you're heading out to, you're at the mall. I got three or four bags. Ask security to walk you to your car. Also, a lot of stores now you can go in there, pay for it. You don't even have to walk out with it. They'll ship it to your house. Oh wow! Yeah, absolutely. So, so that's you just see something to keep in mind. <clears throat> So would you suggest too, like around the holidays, would it be better to get, if it's available, if it's offered, um, valet parking? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to valet, take your vehicle key off, or most, a lot of them have just key fobs for push to start. That's all they need. They don't need your house keys. That's all they need. Give them the key five, or if it does require a uh, ignition key, give them just the ignition key. But yeah. valet is absolutely a good option. Yeah, it's a safe I, option. It is safe. I mean, it's for a few bucks, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I would also say, make sure you let somebody know where you're going. Mm. Hey, I'm going to Southland. Hey, I'm going to Lakeside. I'm going to Twelve Oaks. Um, I should be there for a couple hours. Okay. A couple hours went past. You haven't heard from your loved one. Call them, text them. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm good. That's perfect. So what, what do you suggest for those who may not live in a climate like ours? They're more of a warm climate where they really can get away with not having like a coat or anything. How That's, e that's, that's even better. Okay. Wear a longer T-shirt so you can conceal your firearm. Uh, Mace works. <laughs> Mace works in Michigan and Arizona. Um, and, and the reason why I'm saying it because some people they don't want to carry firearms for that, and that's their right. I don't begrudge them. Mm -hmm. it, that's that's what works for them. But have something to defend yourself with. Okay. The days <laughs> of the whistle is over. <laughs> right. And I know that I remember you saying that because I remember I had took a um, self defense class. Right? I'm just I, hey, look, I'm just <laughs> yeah. I um I remember mm -hmm. from the self defense class that I took some years ago, um, and like you mentioned, like you said, your the keys can be a weapon. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, in the event someone does get too close to you, um, always an individual needs to see their prey. So the first thing you want to do, take these two fingers. You're going right for the eyes. They can't. They can't assault what they can't see. Mm -hmm, true. So the eye gouge. <laughs> I mean, it, it 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 may seem primitive. It may seem absolutely. It may seem primitive, but if you go for the eyes, 
Um, and, and think about this. A lot of young girls from middle school, elementary, their parents taught them if a boy mess with you, you know where to kick them. That mm-hmm. still works. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, that's still prevalent. Um, right. And make noise. A lot of people, mm-hmm. a lot of criminals don't, they don't like light and noise. Because that's, cause that's attention being drawn to them, right? Can you hear me, Quan? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Absolutely. I don't know why, but it's a, it's um, a little, it's a little think delay. about this. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. So what about, like, I... um. I know. I'm. Yeah, I don't know what this. Yeah. Um. But yeah, noise. Um. I remember too. In the self defense class. I think you're back in real time now. Okay. I think I remember too. In um in the self defense class, they um dis discouraged um women like wearing like long ponytails or anything like that where they can easily be, you know, like grabbed. And, you know, us um, African-American women, a lot of us have like the long braids and things like that. Um, that's that's still true. Okay. Okay, so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything that you can be Anything that can be used to grab and harness you, especially around the neck area, you don't want to you absolutely. Okay. So because we are, it is like a little um a, a delay. So what can what last advice would you we give? Sure would you give um women and men too? Because you know, we know that men, men can get robbed as well. Um, so what advice do you want to leave with the audience around this time absolutely it's a little delay so he's number one just 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 be vigilant um we we all know the old stories about be careful you you, you know you, you know us we, we were taught to bring our packages in at night under the cover of darkness um if you have to go out um make sure you're aware of your surroundings if you carry a firearm make sure you can access it to defend yourself um for the the women make sure you're not attracting the wrong type of attention uh, meaning you're aware of your surroundings you get out one of the most important things that men or women can do is make eye contact. Mm. If someone is walking by, make eye contact. Hey, how you doing? What you're telling them is, hey, I see you. Mm. Um, that's most important. And just be, I mean, just be cognizant. If if you get that feeling, if it feels weird, um, make yourself unavailable for that situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you see a lot of times people coming out of the store, out of malls and stuff, they're like on their phone. Yeah, you know, talking, going to their cars. I'm like, that you absolutely you can't do that. This is such a target. Or or how about this? They're walking with both AirPods in their ear. Mm. You can't hear anything. Mm, that's true. Walk around your vehicle before you get in it. Mm. Walk around it, okay. And be most important, be cognizant when you pull out that parking lot if someone is following you. Okay. If you feel you're if you feel you're being followed, put your right turn signal on and go left. <laughs> because if that individual does the same thing, now you know you're being followed. Okay, and go to the to the nearest, the nearest police. police. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know what, though, what I found, especially, you know, in the suburbs, a lot of the precincts, they like they actually close. Well, no, they, they may look close, but they there's someone there's a desk supervisor 24 seven on that desk. At where I forgot. 
Yeah, Where yeah, I yeah, live, I forgot, yeah. You had to have yep. called a little front, yeah. <laughs> yep, I, yeah, I forgot. I, I had experience with them before. Yep, you're right. <laughs> I was um, like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing. At any given time, you can actually be transferred to the state police or uh-huh. your county sheriff department. Um, because you're right. I mean, even even in rural areas, after a certain day, I know some that only have a day and afternoon shift, and after that, you have to call the the county sheriff act to be transferred to the county sheriffs or MSP. Um, so at, I mean, at any rate, so you, you're going to get some level of police service. Yeah. Um, and it might be better if it's escalated to county or state because they're not playing. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Like some of those out there who want to try me. Um, <laughs> oh, no. During the um, day or evening. I, yeah. They're, they're, they're coming like this. They jumping out the trees. <laughs> right. Because they don't have nothing to do. So they, they absolutely. Coming like this. <laughs> absolutely. They sending four cars for a cat in the right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was like, OK, I remember um, something had happened it was like some years ago. And um but at that time, uh, we had a black police chief, and he was like, "You know, this this is not such and such, mm-hmm. and this is not such and such. You get what mm-hmm. you pay for out here." So mm-hmm. I remember I can. He told me I can just whenever you know I can call up the the, um, the police, and I can get them to before I enter my house that they, they will um, walk the premises and Absolutely. they will come in and do a search before i even enter i was like okay yeah, absolutely <laughs> hey they are not for games okay <laughs> you see them bright halogen lights coming oh they they for real <laughs> right right okay so that's that is how to stay safe in these streets in these holiday shopping streets you know ladies and men you know we don't want to um position ourselves to be a victim. Um, and again, just to recap, you know, just watch your surroundings. Um, again, if you want to order packages, you know, if you can send them to your job or if you do Amazon, um, you can have them drop it off at one of their lockers and it's going to be like near your home. Um, and just be aware, just be alert. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we are looking forward to uh, kicking it with K. Marie Day at the range. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this Sunday, uh, we have um, quite a few people. Um, you know, you told me the the max amount of people, and I believe we we, we hit that. And okay. um, we're going to have fun. We're going to have some footage. You know, so for those of you who missed out on this go round, when we do it again, you can come that time as well. Uh, thank you for thank you, Kwan, for even offering that to um, my listeners, and um, they're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, and we're still going to have that giveaway. Uh, I'm still trying to um, work out how I'm going to do it because I still want to do the caption this picture, but the picture that I want to use, I think it's kind of uh, I can't use it because the firearm is in it, so I can't use it on the um, social media. Right, platform. right. So I had to come up with something else. Uh, so we're going to be um, doing that as well. And I'm sure we'll get some good footage from this weekend we can use. So we can probably <laughs> use one of those pictures. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Take some uh, still shots and have some mm-hmm. have somebody uh, caption. Yeah. Whatever's going on. And uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. So again, thank you, Quan. Thank you for coming on here. And again, Always my pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. Again, um, just give out your information for those who um, who is interested in getting their uh, CPO. And it doesn't matter what state you're in, because he can do it um, uh, virtual and even go into the range in your area. So Absolutely. I can be reached on Facebook at Parks Defensive Strategies. Uh, also, my email is PDS, Paul David Sam, PDS, CPL as in the license pdscpl at yahoo.com or contact me directly 586-804-6431 i also if you already have a cpl i also do uh firearm enrichment classes tactical shooting rifle pistol shotgun um if you have a cpl but don't have a firearm i do consultations get you to a store show you exactly what's right for you um 
So, or get you to the range first, rather, and then accompany you to a store. Um, and I'll give you some insight where you can purchase and save 30 to 40 percent on firearms, ammo, and accessories. All right, there you have it, folks. So, don't forget to um, hit up um, Parks Defensive Strategies on social media as well, um, his Facebook page and Instagram page with the same name. And um, also, you know, like, subscribe, and uh, share our park podcast. Um, it's um, K Marie Podcast on all the social media platforms and on whatever platform you listen to your podcast on, because we are on every single one except for Title. For some reason, I don't know. I just didn't apply for that one yet. But everyone else, um, we are on Kicking It with K Marie. You can find us there. And um, stay safe, you all. Um, be vigilant. Be watchful. Watch your back. Okay. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Oh, let's go. Let's go. It's time to turn up your radio. Turn up the radio. Just so you know. Just so you know. You're kicking it with K. That's all I'm going to say. You're here now.